it's you're not in it uh, for one day to make one trade. You're in it for a lifetime. You're in it for longevity. It's a career. It's not a job. It's a career. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the AccessAtrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. Um, I went to get a COVID uh, vaccine shot today. Uh, I'm a little out of it. Nothing really, you know, nothing really crazy. Uh, more tired than anything else. Uh, no other side effects. Uh, arm a little sore, but that's about it. So hopefully. Uh, well, hopefully this damn thing works, right? Hopefully everybody, um, you know, everybody can go on with their lives. So let's talk about the tape. So it, it feels like we're here again, right? And it feels that way because, well, here we are. So I, I want to kind of backtrack first. So last night, if you watched the video, we were talking about where the indexes were. And the Dow Jones Industrial Average yesterday uh, two days in a row below the five day. Again, that's not a good thing, right? We talked about that, not a good thing. Uh, today, the Dow came in about 300 points. Uh, IWM, uh, we talked about it last night, five days building below the five day moving average. Obviously, that's not a good thing, okay? Uh, really got crushed today. And, and the reason why this was such a big deal uh, about the IWM was because the IWM really has led us, it's crazy to say, but really has led most of the market participants and a lot of the speculation names. And uh, this is the first day that closed below the 50 day moving average. Obviously that's not a good thing as well. Uh, the SPY we talked about last night, right? Started building a base here slowly but surely, uh, several days under the five day moving average. And again, really not crazy, nothing really to talk about. There's no really big sell signal, but again, the most important part is we understand where it's not, right? It's not oversupply, it's undersupply. And when you're having a market when you're continuously looking at a market that is under supply and most uh, indexes today close below either a micro or a major a macro um, supply zone that's not a good thing that's why a lot of the names that if you see spiking in the middle of the day they're probably going to have a shorter shelf life than something that is above supply so for example uh, if you look at pretty much everything today right and we came so close today um, reclaiming the 50 day moving average again on the queues, but it's like, it's like you're going to a strip club, right? You're coming with, you know, you can come with a thousand dollars to the strip club, $500 to the strip club, $200 to the strip club, right? Children leave the room and you know, you're getting the lap dances, 20 a pop, 20 pop. I love you. What's your name? I love you. Where are you from? I love you. All right. Do you want to, you know, you want to have dinner with me as soon as you run out of that 20, get the hell out of here next, right? On to the next one. And that's kind of where we are. We're in this kind of, you know, we're kind of in this, this, this strip club, right? We're kind of in the strip club here. We're here are the dancers. And as soon as you run out of money, they reject you, right? All that supply, 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 supply. And we came so close today with so many names getting above supply. Like if you look four hours ago, Microsoft was a day away of exploding. Uh, Apple was a day away of exploding. Amazon, out of all things, Amazon looked today like perfect. And, if you, and we'll talk about the pivots in a second. I said, if this thing could just close above 3182 today, it's gonna expand. It's gonna really, really go because it's gonna reclaim supply. Look at the high today, 3182 perfectly. So where we are in the spectrum of things, and I, and I see a lot of traders talking about it's choppy, it's choppy. Of course it's choppy. When, when you have predominantly, you know, the majority of stocks underneath supply zones that are mirroring the images of the index, well, of course they're not gonna go anywhere. They're going to have short lives. Um, you're going to get a lot of stalls and starts and starts and stalls. And you're gonna have a stock that's looking like it's about to explode the next day, but it never gets to the next day because it keeps on getting rejected at supply. And even the strongest one of all, and again, we'll get to the pivots in a second. Again, congratulations to you guys uh, who caught Netflix. Even the strongest one of all, right? Beautiful move, you know, had an $8 candle uh, right off the open. Phenomenal, right? Absolutely phenomenal, which I missed by the way, because again, I was online. Uh, getting my vaccine, 
But the point is, even a stock like this with all its strength just did enough just to kind of reclaim the 50-day moving average. But you saw the difference between a stock oversupply and a stock that's undersupply. And when you're dealing with a market that is undersupply for 80, 85, 90% of the stocks, you're not going to get a rally. You're going to get a bunch of short cat, dead cat bounces that are eventually going to get, you know, get rejected, but you're not going to get anything that is going to be meaningful unless you catch something again that's that reclaim macro supply. So going into tomorrow's session, and it's going to be a mess, man. If you are a perma bear, excuse me, if you are a perma bull, you're going to have a lot of problems tomorrow. Unless you're trading, uh, you know, these crazy stocks like, you know, like this dolphin that just absolutely exploded after the close and these uh, HOFVs that, you, you know, you're trading up 50, up 80, up 250%. Unless you're trading those, that's not really a conversation for you. But if you're trading normal names, right, like normal names uh, that are having pretty good money flow, you know, up and down, long and short, whatever the case may be, you're going to run into a, a wall. Now, the good problem, well, not a good problem, but the good solution to that is start looking to is start looking at names that potentially already got rejected off supply. And now they're starting to take out the previous day's low. Now, if you're in a market that looks like this, right? And again, the jury is still out on the queues. There's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a hypothetical question out there and nobody's gonna be able to be right or wrong until it happens. That's why it's a hypothetical question. The question is, does the, do the queues finally burst out, right? Do they, 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 do they finally burst out above the 50 day moving average and the money flow goes out of everything else, right? That had that big, big run and go into the members of the queues. You know, the Teslas of the world, the Netflix and the videos of the world that looked so great today, four hours ago, not so much anymore, right? Or was this just kind of like that the chicken running around with its head, right, or about to collapse? Because again, if everything does pull um, the market down, and again, we're, you know, we've seen enough evidence now in the charts uh, to kind of show you that where we are in the spectrum of things, well, was this just a dead cat bounce? Was this just a couple of days of like this honeymoon phase and now we're getting back to, well, just start selling uh, the cycle just the way we did for the, you know, for the previous uh, three weeks or so. So there's a lot of questions to be seen. The one thing that I know for sure, I don't want to be long, right? I, I, I know I don't want to be short yet, right? Maybe that changes tomorrow by the first or second candle, depending how some of these tech names potentially start taking out the previous day's low. But at least for now, where I am right now, I'm kind of delta neutral because we're not, we didn't take out the previous day's low, right? And we didn't take out the previous day's high. So we're kind of in the middle. So somebody's gonna turn around and say, well, that's a bullish inside day. Well, you, you, you have to create a day, right? To create an inside day. There is no day to be created, right? So I, I think the big number here again, folks, uh, 321 on the close, it's it's a nausea, but it has to be done. Okay, uh, if we start breaking down below yes before yesterday's levels of the 315 level, then I'm going to start looking at some shorts for tomorrow. They're not going to be painfully obvious because again, a lot of names did bounce. But this is when you start doing your homework and you start looking at the 60 minute charts and you say to yourself, well, what didn't take out? What took out the previous day's low? What's not rallying after? It it made its initial low after taking out the previous low and what now needs to confirm on the next channel. And that's going to be kind of our wait and see approach for tomorrow's session because if you go through your charts today, uh, and again, every single trader should be looking at charts today, you're gonna see a big mess, okay? You're gonna see this ridiculous sewage septic tank of, I guess they're called charts, both mid cap, uh, large cap, uh, biotech, technology, every, it's a sea of crap, right? It literally is a sea of crap. Our job is to stay disciplined again, like we've been saying all the time, especially in a market that's under supply, our job is to, is to really see the trends form early. And again, that trend doesn't need to be up. That trend could be down for tomorrow. And if they do start if they start com committing to a trend, start confirming previous channels, something is gonna give tomorrow. Again, if, if you look in this channel here, it's very, very tight, right? 321 to the upside, 315 to the downside. So something is going to give. So our job tomorrow, let's just sit and watch, have an open mind. You know, logically, it looks like a sell action, right? I mean, doesn't it look logically like there's a sell bias uh, inflection point going on for tomorrow? But again, this market is so warped, it, it's so twisted that at any given point, it'll do completely the opposite of what you think is gonna happen. So we actually have to wait 
for it to play out. Probably wait for that you know 10 o'clock channel, uh, maybe even the 11 o'clock channel to get extra confirmation. Just remember, it's not a race, guys. It's it, you're not in it. Uh, for one day to make one trade. You're in it for a lifetime. You're in it for longevity. It's a career. It's not a job. It's a career. And if you do focus on the long game instead of the short game, you're going to be fine. Just remember, like I say every single day, there's days that give you crazy value. Like this morning, there was a potential of tremendous value, which Netflix was the catalyst. Uh, or you you could sit there and get two seven off soon, try to squeeze water out of rock. It's not going to be a, it's not going to be any benefit to you. You're going to burn mental equity. Uh, you're going to burn all type of equity. And moral of the story is eventually you are going to become a statistic. So let's talk about uh, today's channels. There was actually some pretty good ones. Um, you know, and, and it, like I always say all the time, you don't need a lot, right? Especially in beta, you you really don't need a lot. All you need is that right one and one that catches fire. That's usually going to be the one that confirms and does really, really well. So let's talk about it. Um, RBLX, I liked above 73, never got to 73. This was definitely the big one. I, I missed the move because I was getting my COVID shot. Uh, when I came back home, you know, I caught a little bit of a bounce on it. Uh, and when the futures pulled, you know, it was a very, very small bounce. So I made a cup of coffee there. But anyway, uh, 530 sneaky daily area needs to reclaim the macro level that is huge is the 50 day supply. Uh, 534 needs to build. And here was definitely the move uh, of the day. Congratulations, you guys who caught this. So here was the 530, right? Got, got upgraded today. Here was the 530. Here was the 534. Confirmed the 50 day moving average and went right to uh, 543. It'd be interesting to, to I still like Netflix, right? In case we do rally tomorrow, I do want to watch it kind of opening range highs, but eh, we'll see. You know, we'll see what happens there. But again, good job for all you guys uh, who did catch that. Uh, NVIDIA never got there. Uh, PDD, I'm very surprised this thing hasn't crashed yet. So 3550, 35 needs to build to the downside. Very, very weird stock, right? It looks like it hasn't had a green day in, it in in a long, long time. But at the same time, it just doesn't want to collapse. So it takes out the 35 and a half, trades down to like 33 and change, and then kind of props back up. Very weird stock. Um, yeah, I still like it lower, but very weird stock. Uh, Roku, you know, not a big move. Uh, 362 needs to build. Uh, only put up a couple of dollars. If you did catch it, good job there. But here's the... 30, you know, 30, 32, uh, excuse me, 62, went to 60, 64, not a big move at all. Uh, and you could tell the difference between a Netflix being above supply, you know, goes up, you know, seven, eight, nine dollars after the pivot versus Roku that's still underneath supply. Um, Lumina never got there. DVAX never got there. Uh, Blink never got there. This stock continues to be really well, uh, pretty good. Uh, DMTK. Uh, 63 needs to build. Here was DMTK. If you guys remember, uh, the initial pivot was yesterday uh, off that 59 level, and it confirmed all this channel, confirmed the 63, uh, and it went to almost 67. Really, really big move. Congratulations for you guys who caught that as well. Uh, AYRO, small little, you know, small little sucker. You know, not a lot of people talked about this. Uh, 750 uh, needs to build. Here was uh, AYRO. All right, so it took out the 750 and it went to 820. All right, not a bad move, not a bad move at all for you guys who caught that as well. Uh, ILM, then nothing again, looks ready for a uh, 434 45 monster area. And I go, Of course, I'm gonna miss it because, well, I'm standing in line. And da 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 da, this is me, this is me literally standing in line, right? This is literally me standing in line as I'm watching uh, Netflix go. Up six, up seven, up eight, up nine, blah, 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 blah. So again, if you guys caught it, congratulations. Uh, and then six hours ago, just, just to show you how fast things change in the market, I go beta is setting up so excellent for tomorrow, like so good. Like at one point, Amazon was up like 70 and I'm like, wow, the 50 day is 3182. That's also the high of the day. Any close above was super bullish. Shabayer just came in for the, for the April, uh, 3,200 calls, $1.8 million worth of bets. It looks so good and then yada, 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 we got rejected. Uh, again, obviously I was looking for up, more upside bias and never got there as well. Uh, this was definitely the big move of the day. Congratulations for all you guys who caught this trade. Uh, Funko, right? There was some sort of news come out that, you know, this is an NFT company. If you actually read the news, uh, they actually do have something to do with NFT. So uh, 1850 rejected twice on the daily. 19 is macro, right? This is where it needs to build. 
1973 is also the 52 week high. Congratulations for you guys who caught this move here. Uh, so it took out the, you know, it took out the 1850, which is right here, right? Took out the 1850, took out the 19, took out the 1973 and traded all the way up to 21. Uh, 17. So, you know, look, the market is bananas. Okay. The market is uh, a very, very stock pickers market. And that be that's both long uh, and short. You have to be adult enough to understand where we are in the spectrum. Uh, because if you're not, if you just sit there for the trade, if you sit there for the day, uh, you're just not going to get anywhere. You're just really, really not. And unfortunately, those who are impatient and those who are uh, committed to the trade instead of committed to the longevity, eventually, you know, unfortunate to say, um, you're not going to be trading. It's just, it's just kind of what it is. So guys, tomorrow is going to be a big mess. We have to be very, very patient, very diligent to see exactly where the theme plays out, whether it's long, whether it's short and wait for that confirmation. Guys, have a great night, everybody. Get some rest, and with God's help, we'll see you all tomorrow. Take care, guys.